An investment requires that you deposit $100 at the beginning of each month to be able to accumulate $5,000 in three years. What monthly interest rates that does this investment pay you? So here we are uh, looking at an annuity due because you are depositing that $100 at the beginning of each month. So the calculator needs to be set to begin mode and the formula that you're using need to, needs to also be, um, be uh, adjusting um, or uh, for the uh, annuity due. So we need to use the annuity due formula. Because this is a, uh, a problem that looks at the interest rate, we're not going to use uh, the formula because it tends to be really complicated. Uh, instead, we're going to use the uh, financial calculator. So the financial calculator is going to be the most efficient way to answer this question. So here, let's just draw the timeline to be able to uh, know what we are dealing with and be able to visualize uh, the, uh, the, the, the the cash flows that are happening. So here we are. So at time zero, we have one, we have two, we have three. So each month we are depositing $100. This is a cash outflow to us, so it will be a negative number. So we are depositing $100. We are uh, taking it from our paycheck and putting it into this investment account. So, and it starts today, so it starts from time zero. So negative 100, negative 100, negative 100 each month, okay? And uh, we are trying uh, to accumulate $5,000 in three years. So at the end of three years, okay we uh, will have five we want to have five thousand dollars so the five thousand dollars that is your future value because it happens later on the timeline and the one hundred dollar deposits these are our payments okay um, and uh, they are, should be inputted into the calculator as a negative number to represent them as a cash outflow to us so negative 100 is your PMT 5,000 is the future value and here we need the N. Since the PMT is made uh, on a on a uh, monthly level, the N should also be inputted as a, as, a, as a monthly number so that we have a monthly interest rate. And here we are investing for three years, but we are making deposits every month. So we take three times 12 months, which is 36, and that would be our N. And then we compute, so we compute for the interest rate. Okay, so this is what we need to input. First, uh, we need to set the calculator to begin mode. So second, PMT, second, enter. You see BGN, that means that your calculator is set to begin mode. And then uh, the deposit. So the deposit is a, is a cash outflow to us. So negative 100 is your PMT. The 5,000 is the future value. 36 months is the end and then we compute the i over y, and this gives us 1.7%, okay? So 1.7%, that is a monthly number, okay? So 1.7%, that is a monthly interest rate because you inputted the payment as a monthly number, the end as a monthly number, and so you get 1.7% monthly. So for this, um, uh, for this uh, investment, we get 1.7% 1 1 return a month.